axis okay so the shape factor is calculated by uh, shape factor is given by mp by my and you know that mp is fy zx and your my is fy sx now you know when you cut this off what you essentially get is the plastic section modulus over the elastic section modulus now how to find the elastic section modulus the elastic section modulus is essentially your ix over y max now we'll just quickly uh, discuss how to calculate ix you know it already from your mechanics course but i will just review again because this uh, this will just refresh your knowledge and also uh, y max is automatically uh, calculated from that so let me just make a new slide just remove some of the trim so to calculate the centroid so to calculate the moment of inertia what you need first to calculate the moment of inertia the first thing that you need is the location of the centroid where is the centroid located to calculate the location of the centroid you can roughly say that it is somewhere over here but we don't know for sure how much it is so let's calculate it by considering uh, the location as y bar let's call it y bar from the bottom from the bottom fiber so to calculate y bar what you essentially do is to take uh, the moment of each area you split it into different uh, areas in this case you can split this into one area this into other another rectangle and this into another rectangle and then just take the moment of the areas so when i take the moment of the areas for example the first one it is 120 times 10 times uh, i'm sorry i'm taking the uh, yeah when i'm taking it is it is 120 times 10 times what this total length up to this the centroid of this particular uh, shape or the rectangle is in the middle so you have 20 plus 470 plus 5 so you have 20 plus 470 plus 5 plus and the next area that you need to take is this one so the area is 15 times the whole length is 7 470 times the distance between the centroid to this locate to this point so that is basically 20 plus 470 over 2 plus you also have a third area which is this one and to calculate the area it is just 150 times 2 20 times the centroid is located for this small area the centroid is over here and the distance is just 10 divided by the total area the total area of the cross section so which is 120 times 10 plus 15 times 470 plus 150 times 20. now this gives you the location of the centroid in the y direction in the x direction you already know where it is it is in exact in the middle so you get this value as 215.26 now you can call this as y bottom okay to get the y top what we do is just y top is just the total which is minus the y bottom and you get it as 284.74 now you can see that this is the y max you had two 
uh, y values, y top and y bottom, and this is y max. Now you need this y max to calculate the uh, elastic modulus. Now we have to calculate the moment of inertia. To calculate the moment of inertia, we have to use the concept of parallel axis theorem. Okay, because if you consider, if you split this entire cross section into different areas, you can see that the local, the moment of inertia, uh, the centroid of this particular uh, small area is over here, but the centroid of the entire cross section is somewhere else. So you need to transfer the moment of inertia to this point, to this axis. For that, what we do is suppose you have Ixx uh, will be equal to what? Let's call this as x1, x1 for this element. So it will be I x1, x1 plus what is it? A h square. A is the area of the small, uh, small region and h is the distance between the centroid of this small area and the centroid of the entire cross section, which we just calculated, which we just found uh, a few moments ago. That is this one from the top. So likewise, we need to calculate the Ixx of different areas and then sum it up. Now let's do that uh, in the next step. So to calculate the Ixx of the entire section, we have to calculate, first, first consider this small area. Now what is the uh, moment of inertia of this rectangular cross section? You know that if, if you have a rectangular cross section, if B and this is D, your Moment of inertia I is equal to BDQ by 12. Now, besides BDQ by 12, you also have to add AH square to transfer the moment of inertia. So we have 120 times 10 cube by 12 plus 120 times 10, which is this area. That is, I told earlier it is A. And the h square is the distance between this and the centroid of the uh, entire cross section. So it will be 284.74 minus 5. That is, this is 10. So you to subtract, you, you need to get this. You know that this entire up to the centroid is 284.74. So you have to subtract that 5 out. And this time, this will be a square. And the next term is this second area second rectangular area so that will be 15 times 470 cube by 12 plus 15 times 470 uh, and you have to find the distance uh, between the centroid of this cross section uh, of the entire cross section and the centroid of the small region which you get to be 7 uh, to 7 470 by 2 plus 10 minus 284.74 the whole square and uh, similarly for the last area you get 150 times 20 cube divided by 12 plus 150 times 20 times 215 this time around i'm taking the the length from the from the bottom and you have 215.26 minus 10 the whole square and and then uh, you get uh, a value of 361 Three two two nine. I'm sorry, five zero point five uh, mm to the power four, uh, and that you can simplify it as uh, three point six one three times ten to the power eight mm to the power four. So this is how you calculate the moment of inertia. The next step, let's calculate the uh, the section modulus to calculate the section modulus which is sx elastic section modulus it is i over y max just calculated i from the previous step and y max from the previous from uh, a, a few slides back and therefore you get the value of so sx is, as uh, y top and y bottom right yeah, you have y y top and y bottom you have to find the maximum one So 
when you substitute it, you get 3.613 into 10 power 8 divided by 284.74. Now this is mm to the power 4. This is mm. So you'll get mm cube. So this is the value of sx. To value to find the value of my, you just have to y times sx. Now, if FY is given to you, say it's 50 KSI, just have to multiply 50 KSI times whatever you get uh, there to get the moment. Now, the next important thing is to calculate the elastic section and uh, the plastic section modulus. Now, the plastic section modulus, if you have already studied the concept, you know that in while calculating the plastic section modulus, the entire cross section is um, uh, has yielded so to calculate the section modulus what you need to know the assumption that you need to know you don't have to uh, the assumption that i mean it's not the assumption it is the right thing that you need to take area in tension is equal to area in compression okay so let us assume uh, we need to find the 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 plastic neutral axis using this idea that is the tense the area in tension is equal to the area in compression now let's call this height as h so you need to equate uh say if this this entire area is in that is up to h this is the plastic neutral axis if this is all in tension and this is all in compression you need to equate the area and therefore find the value of h to equate it is 120 times 10 plus 15 times h minus 10 equals 20 times 150 plus 15 times 500 minus h minus 20 and when you solve this you get the value of h as 305 mm now to calculate the section modulus what you need to do is to, to calculate the uh, the plastic section modulus what you need to do is now you have found the value of h now you need to take the moment of uh, moment of the areas about the plastic neutral axis so that is given by zx now you have the first area as 120 times 10 times this depth of the plastic neutral axis is h equal to 305 and you calculate it for the bottom as well you get it as 295 so uh, so this is uh, 120 times 10 times 305 minus 5 that is from this point about this axis and then you have for the small area it is 15 times 305 minus 10 times 305 minus 10 over 2 that is you're taking it uh, taking the moment of area of the small uh, small part and then for the bottom again you have 20 times 150 for the large area over here times 195 minus 10 because the entire thickness is 20 you need to take the half of it and then you have for this this small area you have 15 times 195 minus 20 times 195 minus 20 by 2. And when you calculate all this, you get a value of 1.797 to the power 6 mm cube. So to calculate the plastic moment, you need MP is equal to FYZX. If you know the value of FY, you can easily find the value of MP from here so to calculate the shape factor
to calculate the shape factor you need zx over sx so the zx was calculated as 1.797 times 10 power 6 divided by sx was calculated as 1.268 10 power 6 and you get a value of 1.41 this is the shape factor for this particular cross section so is this clear